Fine, Jeremy. You take all over. I can Royal Cut 158-871 here at my sister's Victoria. I'm taking it to follow as part of the bank key. What button should I hear first before leaving? Press F1 for your briefing. So press T for the doors. Headlights, taillights, visual lights. Master key, reverser. Uh, tap the signal because it's broken for some reason. Oh yeah, me and Ben Ripstart tried to fix it the other week. Failed. <laughs> so DRA off because we have a clear path out of Victoria. Wait for this to boot up. Okay, so our input for the GSMR is 1 delta 7 3. 1 delta 7 3. I think a signal of six five seven enter. Destination is saying Chester because this train is for Chester. So this scenario is called one Delta seven three eight thirty nine leads to Chester. Morning, but passengers here in Victoria before heading up to Warrington. You may need to press tab to act signal signal to permission to pass signal Mike November 657. So our common points are Manvik, Newton Willows, Elton and Warrington. So it's not very far. Warrington is only like 22 miles away. So wait for the door to close Victoria before heading along Chat Moss. So heading west out of Manchester, Victoria, we head out of we head along Dilchy Junction, then to Central, also Lane Junction, Eccles, Patrickcroft, Newton Willows, Elstown, then into Warrington Bank Key. So yeah, I've done this section many times in real life. Not the entire section, but mainly the like Manchester half. And also this, this section in particular between Victoria and the really also called World, uh, because I've done that a lot of times as well on the 185. So it is really cool that ATS has taken the time to recreate the original intercity um, line between Manchester and Liverpool. Because for those who don't know, Chatmos is the oldest intercity railway in the world. I think it was completed in 1830. The station on the right is South Central. And if you go round to the right, we'll get to South Crescent. So yeah, as you can see already, this, the, it does have quite a lot of custom buildings, like the car park, Manvik, South Central, Liverpool, from Mitten Link. Warrington Bank Key from Mr. Link. <laughs> the also Accord, which is coming up right now on the left. So yeah, this through, this through I think it's set in like 2021, so present. Because it has the new Liverpool layout, so it has the also Accord. So the also Accord opened in 2017. So yeah, I think starting your set after 2017 would be a good fit. So like 2018, 2019, 2021. Like the left joins from Oxford Road and Piccadilly. Left to the right goes to Walsall for Crescent and Wigan Wargate via Ince and Bolton and that way towards Blackburn. There's M158 from Chester to Leeds. So 
So this scenario is set before the 105 set of service. So if you remember a couple of years ago, I went to Warrington Banky, and this this train was actually on the exact same service. So one Delta Seven Three from um, Leeds Chester, I got that one from Rochdale to Warrington Banky on one five eight eight seven one, which at the time was in X Cotrail. You know, before it was put into the proper northern colours. So coming up shortly will be Eccles Station. So yeah, the amount of detail on the route is it is amazing. On the right is the M602, I think. Pretty sure it is. So if you want to download this route for yourself, it is available on alantomsonsend.com. For subscribers, it's it's 15 quid. For non subs it's 20 for non-subscribers it's 24.99, you know like most chips and routes. The scenario is freeware, it is available on Alan, Alan Thompson's sim as well. I don't think the requirements for it are that high, maybe 158 EP, the Cummings one. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure of the stuff that I remember. It's, it's on the uh, product page, I'll look it in the description. So other than the few tail stutters, the fruit does run very well. So you see, as you can see in the top left, I am getting like 30 FPS. Not because I've blocked it at 30. I'm speeding. This is Eccles. Next station will be Petrocroft. is Patchcroft. Okay, next station will be Newton Willows, where we have booked a stop for a quite a bit of time. I think it's I think the train stops in Newton Willows for so long to get a better path onto the North Coast main line. The first time I did track moss in real life, I think it was like last August. I got an 802 from Victoria to Liverpool Live Street to see the uh, steam rail tour. I forgot which one it was. The, the big green one. You know, that's the Pacific. I think, yeah, I think it was last August. Yeah, yeah the 802 is not, they're not particularly the most comfortable train. But the chest power delivery, it does look the best on them. Out of all the IETs. Then the next time we came down Chat Moss was only 105 from Preston to Piccadilly. So 105 is left from Preston, went through Wigan towards Little Willows, what came off just before Little Willows. 
Then I went along Chat Moth through Eccles towards Oxstroad, Piccadilly. Yeah, I think the last time I went down Chat Moth was on 175, 175 006. From Warrington to Oxford Road. So I started off at Warrington, went to Earlstown, went left towards here to Willows, through Eccles, through Oxford Road to Piccadilly. I think it's going to the airport. Oh yeah, if wondering why it's cloudy, it's because Manchester weather is mostly just cloudy and rain. Make one in of sixty. This is Astley. Love the quarter. This is a 105 going to the kit Scarborough. Okay, this scenario is also set before the 68th service. Sorry about that, this scenario is set before the 68th service with the Mark V coaches. Say about six miles left. So requirements, requirements for chat mostly are very, very minimal. So you need uh, Liverpool Manchester via Warrington by Dovetail, which is used for Liverpool Lime Street, Edge Hill, and then the other half, uh, the other end of Piccadilly. So station models for Dingsgate, Otter Road, and Piccadilly. You also need. ATS OHLE for the OHLE. And I think that's it. Everything else is part of the ATS uh, Common Library. So in ATS Chat Moss you got the entire line from Metro Victoria and Piccadilly through Chat Moss, so through Earlstown and Heisen to Liverpool Lime Street. You also get a bit towards Alton Depot as well. You also get a bit of the West Coast Main Line towards Wellington Bank Key. You know the scenarios. So the stock, the stock that comes down here is 105s, 331s, diverted pendolinos, uh, 802s, 68s. You know, just modern stuff that doesn't have any characters with it. A 
you got, of course, if you want to backdate the style a bit, you have 105s, 158s, 153s, 156s, 309s. As I have freighters in like the biomass trains, as the Liverpool that go along Chat Moss, along the uh, Carnival Valley, through the Tomadon, towards Drax. Usually hauled by sheds. I can't wait for an AP to do like a 60 enhancement. So it's do like an AP 60 with a biomass train. And to the right, it goes towards the Rockets main line and the Brigham Northwestern. Man for the right joins from the West Coast main line and Brigham Northwestern. Slowing down for Newton Lower Lows. Oh, yeah, Newton Lower Lows, it does have a fairly short platform. Ravel into Neutral Willows. Okay, next stop is Earlstown, which is literally just down the road, about quite six miles away. There's one seven five heading towards Piccadilly. You have to think about the an entire road from like somewhere on North West Coast, either Handidno or Hollyhead, towards uh, Piccadilly. I could either do it in BR Blue, so I could use North West Coast, then South Lancashire and North Cheshire, or I could do it in modern times and use North West Coast, Slank from Chester to Warrington, and then Chat Moss to Piccadilly. I think I could do it like a 37. 37 is a cool. Do a train from like the entire road from like Hollyhead to Manvik. That would be cool.
So this is Earlstown, the oldest junction in the world that's still a junction. Okay, next and final stop of the video is Warrington Bank Key, about four and three quarter miles. So now we're heading south away from Chatmoth and heading towards the Pascal's main line. So shortly on the left will be the remains of the Vulcan foundry, which closed at some point. You can Google it. Then after that we will join the West Coast Main Line, go past Dalham Mail Terminal, then into Bank Key. So close back to the feather, which means we're going on to the down slope. Like right, the left joins from Warrington Bank, joins from Wigan North Western and the West Coast Main Line from Glasgow Central. So crossing over onto the up main. Down main, not up main because we're on south. Up main going on the up slope. Speed limit now is 60. So, this part of the line it was originally in the what's called Mail and Missed Link, which is also available on ATS. I think what they've done is just like give it a bit of a touch up. Like different trees, different track, or actually, I think Warrington Bank Key has been rebaked, whatever that means. So do I recommend Chatmoss? Of course, it is very well detailed, very frame rate friendly. <coughs> Sorry. So yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend Chatmoss. It has very few requirements, it is very realistic with lots of custom models. And there is a low star a load of star a load of star potential for it. Left is one turn Royal Mail Tunnel. I 
So I'm pretty sure the speed limit goes down to 30 as we get to Banky. So over the top should be the southern route from Manchester to Liverpool via Winston Central. On the left is the Gotha trains Tampa, DR73106. With a bunch of workmen climbing over it. So this is Warrington Mankey, where the video ends. So thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed this video on Chatmos. Uh, like, the video, like the video if you are so inclined, subscribe to the channel if you want to see a lot more shaping content. Uh, I really encourage you to go and buy Chatmos, it is, a, it is an amazing room and all the blood, sweat and tears that I've gotten to the room, it is amazing. So yeah, definitely go buy it, definitely. Survival into Warrington Bank